as Moses gave the, the sign in the Old Testament, and just as Moses lifted up the serpent in the desert, and so might the Son of Man be lifted up, so that everyone who, who believes in him may have eternal life. This is the experience that we need to be aware about this moment of Thanksgiving in, in order just to, to be more kind with our process, but also to be uh, aware about how our Lord is going to share it with us. And I am going to start this special uh, reflection with uh, Regina Chalice in, in order just to ask our Lady to bless us and to intercede for all of us. And especially in this time that we are going to speak about how can we receive, how can we be able in order to receive the Holy Spirit. Queen of heaven rejoice, alleluia. The son whom you married to bear, alleluia, has risen as he said, alleluia. Pray for us to God, alleluia. Rejoice and be glad, O Virgin Mary, alleluia. For the Lord has truly risen. Hallelujah. Let us pray. Eternal Father and God, you had joy to world. You you gave joy to the world by the resurrection of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, through His Mother, the Virgin Mary. Bring us the happiness of eternal life through Christ our Lord. Who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Through this prayer, let us be aware about this moment of thanksgiving. Jesus tells us today to Nicodemus, it's important, Nicodemus, to understand. If you want to be close to my Father, you need to consider your life. <coughs> the way you are living your life is important. Are you happy the way you are living your life? This is the question that, you, that we need to address today in the first special message. How can this happen? And Jesus said, according to the Old Testament, Moses spoke to you. And that's why Jesus is going to make a specific quotes in order just to make a reference to Moses. Why? Because Moses is so important for the Jewish. Thanks be to Moses, they received the liberation. Moses is a, a very profound person in the, through, the, through the rest of the humanity. Why? Because Moses represents the kindness, the forgiveness, even the liberator, the one who offered himself and went to talk to the Egyptians, as well as the Pharaoh, the person who had the most powerful even he is the person who have the power and many people looks like him or even take his image as a God and even he proclaimed himself as a God and, G and God said to Moses tell to, to Aaron he is no God he's a human person I am the God and I'm going to explain to to him through my signs and that's why God sent different kinds of signs and Moses became so powerful and through that signs Moses became so, fa so famous in the Old Testament and that's why Jesus in the, in the gospel today uh, explained in, 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 in chapter 3rd versicle 7 15 about the presence of Moses and that's why Jesus said as Moses did these beautiful signs, I already did. But I, I, I am came as I am. When Moses did the, these things, he did the things in the name I am. But I, I am here with you. That's the differences. Moses is a messenger and Jesus is the son of the living God. And how can this happen? Because that's the plan of God. That's the, the mystery that we are now trying to understand in this process. And especially in this time that we are going to live different challenges in our lives. And one of the biggest challenges that we have right now is to be at home. As well as the, before the liberation, Moses said 
to, to the people of Israel. You need to stay home and wait. God is going to pass this night. And every person who has, and, and that didn't tell, or the door, the blood, God is going to pass through. And then Jesus became the new, the new ship. He is going to offer himself. And through his blood, we receive the liberation. We receive the peace. But not only from a, a specific person, from Egypt, or a, or a specific place, or a specific even system, political, economical, or rational, or even technological, because the, the Egyptians, they are very important people. And then God liberate them from that country. And that's why even when Jesus came, one of the questions that the Jewish had is, the new liberator, the new Messiah is going to liberate us from Rome. And Jesus said, it is more profound than Rome. Rome is a, a person, yes, but I am going to liberate you from, from the devil. I am going to liberate you from the sin. I am going to liberate you from the, from the dead. That says the message that Jesus tells us today, and as well as we need to be aware. Jesus is going to present to all of us a new ways, a new uh, uh, specific messages in order to make a reference in, the, in the, the primary source that we have in the Old Testament, that is Moses. And let us proclaim the gospel today. Jesus said to Nicodemus, you must be born from above. The wind blows where it is wills, and you can hear the sound it makes, but you do not know where it comes from or where it goes. So it is with every one who is born of the Spirit. Nicodemus answered and said to him, How can this happen? Jesus answered and said to him, You are the teacher of Israel, and you do not understand this? Amen, amen, I say to you. We speak what, of what we know and we testify to what he, we have seen, but you people do not accept our testimony. If I test you about early things, and you do not believe, how will you believe if I tell you about heavenly things? No one has gone up to heaven except the one who comes down from, from heaven, the Son of Man. And just as Moses lifted up the serpent in the desert, so must the Son of Man be lifted up so that everyone who believes in him may have eternal life. This, this gospel reminds us beautiful uh, specific symbolism in order just to understand in profound levels how can we understand this first message? How can this happen? And Jesus said, because God the Father loves too much the humanity and he sent his son personally through his son is acting in order to liberate you from sin from death and from 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 the devil and that's the will of the of, of God and that's why I ask you receive that message came from heaven and I proclaim it to you and after three years and a half I am sharing with you this beautiful signs that you already told me that no one did this kind of, of signs if God is not with him I am so glad to hear about you, about this. And now you ask the question, how can this happen? Maybe you may have the same question. How can this happen? How can this happen about this virus, COVID-19? And you need to be ready. You know why, brothers and sisters? Because really, after this experience, you need to become more strong mentally, psychologically, intellectually, technologically, but also cybernetically. But more important is spiritual. If you not take the time to renew your faith in God, be ready, be ready, because you are going to have a big challenges, really. The challenges that we are going just 
to see in a, in a few weeks, you have to be ready. You have to be ready because many things is going to change. We don't know really what's going on politically around the world. We don't know really what happened or how can this happen economically, even and even, uh, uh, the, the, in, in, the, in the relationships around the nations. We don't know really what's going on in, in the highest levels. And we need to make these questions as well as like Nicodemus asked to Jesus, how can this happen? And then in all very well to speak of being born again, Jesus said, or born from above or born of the spirit, it sounds wonderful in fact, this notion of transcending daily troubles and pity difficulties as we have right now, we have many difficulties and how you are dealing. And Jesus said, through born again and through the Holy Spirit. Do you do not try to understand these thing, things according to the human spirit and even you do not pay attention about, about the body spirit. If you pay attention about the body spirit, about this COVID virus 19, really, it is very dangerous. That's why Jesus said, if you see the COVID virus through the Holy Spirit, you will see time, you will see this time is a new time for me. God is sent me really his message through this virus in order to talk to me he wants to renew myself he wants to increase my relationship with him he asked me to be with him and to be ready are you ready to renew yourself uh, and just through these difficulties that you are living even Nicodemus have the same difficulties to accept Jesus and Jesus said it is simple I came from heaven and you know, Jesus said something very important that we need to consider after you make these questions. Nicodemus asked the same question and I will have asked, but how can this happen? How the winds flows when it wins by the action of the Spirit is visible? How I can receive him? This is the question that you need to address in this first message. How can I receive the Holy Spirit? Even when I don't see it. But Jesus said, it's like a wind. It's like a breeze. It is like a dove. And that's why Jesus explained. You know, I, I have the, 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 the experience to saw when Francis Pope just received the election. How the dove came from heaven. And yes, yes he put it. And on, on, on his shoulder, in his, in his, in, in his uh, shoulder, and then he left that dove. And I see the Holy Spirit is confirm him. Say, you are my beloved son. You represent Jesus Christ in the world. Tell the people how to live. The Francis, uh, the Saint Francis, our Pope, really at the beginning of his pontifex pontifical services as a Pope, the dove represent the Holy Spirit for me. And then he welcomed, even after a few years that I see his job, his ministry, he's making wonderful things, a good example to follow as a person, as a man, as a, even as a priest as a representative of the church and as a pope. We need to respect him. Why? Because through his life, he lived as a, a, a humble life, a simple life. And he's teaching us and, and he is going to tell us to, today. That's why Nicodemus became aware about this beautiful statement when Jesus said to Nicodemus, be more humble and humility and simple. Sim simplify your life. Do not be so complex. The law that you have is ten commandments, but you create even God create six hundred and thirty more norms in order to help you to reorganize yourself. But I am 
Even I make a, a, a summary for you only two. But I give you one word, love. As St. Augustine said, if you love, you can do anything. That's why I came from heaven to tell you, because I love you and my fathers love you, I can do this for you. And that's why Jesus is going to tell us in the gospel, as well as Moses hang up the serpent, I will be hung up on the cross. And everyone who saw me, he's going to be back and recognize me that I am the son of the living God. Brothers and sisters, we are supposed to teachers of Israel, and still we do not understand your words, Jesus. How can this happen? We have tried to be holy, to follow your commandments, and it is that doesn't seem to work. We want to go up to heaven, but no one makes us up to heaven. Only you have gone up to heaven because you came down from heaven. How can sanctify? Or can, how can sanctity happen? How can we receive this, the Spirit? How? And Jesus said, you need to love the way I am love. Be humble in humility. Why the Pope Francis? Because simple. You know, before our Pope, the Church have beautiful transformation, beautiful process. And now we have the simplicity of the popes. If you will see the popes 14 centuries before, when Francis Azizi appeared, we have a very complex church. But now, the pope represents a simplicity, humility, kindness, love, service, closeness to the people, a new relationship with the whole humanity. God is speaking through us, through the Pope, and sell to all of us, as well as the Pope re remove himself from the place of the Vatican, and he choose a small department. You have to choose the same things. God remind us through this coronavirus, according to the government, say, please be simple in humility. Be, go to your, church, to, to your room. Do not go out. You don't need to go out. Just go inside. And the Pope, the Francis Pope, remind us this beautiful movement that he did to all of us in order to teach us as a good example, as a shepherd of, of, of the old Christianity and around the world who represent ecumenism. He represent the religion who bring us again to be brothers and sisters in Christ. Because Christ died for the whole humanity, not only for a few people or for a nation. No, it's he, he died for everyone. That's why Jesus said, I am going to call every person from different races, from different colors, from different countries, from different languages. They are going to be my sons and my daughters. They are going to be my brothers and my sisters. Jesus remind us today. Through Nicodemus, be humble in humility. Be more simple in your lives. Do not be complex. You don't need it to be complex. And that's why we need to understand the second message today, brothers and sisters, is something very important that we need to, to consider today. Why? Because Jesus tells us very profound gift that we need to, to be more more kind. You know why Jesus said these beautiful things. He came down from heaven. Jesus said, even when he rise, he said to Mary Magdalene, please let me go to my father, your father, your God, to my God. I need to go to heaven and I am going to be back. Tell my brothers that I sit them in Galilee. Why Jesus emphasized in the chapter third, and John, that he is the person who go to heaven and back from heaven, or as well as before he go, he went from heaven. Before Jesus came, Jesus came from heaven, and through the incarnation, we have him in our lives. God the Father sent his Son, and after the incarnation, we have the love of the Father. And through the Holy Spirit. Why Jesus emphasized it's through the Holy Spirit that we need to live our lives. Concepcion Cabrera remind us this beautiful uh, 
process. And Jesus is speaking about the divinization. If you want to divinize yourself and you want to be back to heaven, you need to be, live your life like me. You know why, brothers and sisters? Newton gave us a very profound uh, a, a good mathematical example even uh, the, through the science Newton said it is everything came down why and he made the, 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 uh, an example the apple you know when the apple is now ripe what happened that's by itself whom fall down and first go up and grow and then fall down everything go up come down and jesus said and the opposite way is in a spiritual life in a spiritual life everything is come from heaven have to be back to heaven have jesus have the opposite to newton newton remind us that everything is go up have to be back to earth and jesus said in the spiritual level and the mystical level is different. The methodology is different. Why? Because Jesus came from heaven and he had to be back to heaven. And that's why he emphasized this beautiful message today. And that's important to all of us. And this is something that we need to understand when Jesus told to, to Nicodemus and he said, something very interesting you must be born from above the winds blows where, where it wills and you can hear the sound it makes but you do not know where it comes from, from or where it goes so it it is when everyone who is born of the of the spirit Nicodemus answered and said to him how can this happen and Jesus answered and said to him, You are a teacher of Israel, and you do not understand this. Amen, amen, I say to you, I speak of what we know, and we testify to what we, we have been. But you people do not accept our testimony. If I tell you about early things, and you do not believe, how will you believe if, if I tell you about heavenly things? No one has gone up to heaven except the one who has come down from heaven, the Son of Man. And Jesus reminds us to Newton, one of the very important physicians, this physical person who really make a very profound mathematics about the system. He studied the reality and he really make a very profound messages. And that's why we have right now the cybernetical, even technological, uh, the maths and the science. Why different events? We already have in the world, we discovered those, those, those events. God already created for us. And He acknowledged us, He enlightened us, He sent His wisdom, He sent His spirit in order to discover in the nature. And the, and the system. And that's why Jesus said, the wind came and you don't know where it came from. Just you feel his presence. Even you don't know where it's go. It's the similar thing, the Holy Spirit. And that's why it is all very well to speak about being born again or born from above or born of the Spirit. It sounds wonderful. In fact, this notion of transcending daily troubles and pity difficulties. And this is the message today, the second message. If you don't take time just to discover this copy virus through the Holy Spirit to say, this is wonderful. Let us speak about, let us be born again. Let us really take this message from above. Because God remind us today, if we are living this COVID virus, through the Holy Spirit, we are going to renew ourselves. We are going to be ready. We are going to accept the new changes that we already have in society and political, and economically, and even in the system. Even we don't have the same system. If we are speak about cosmological ways, even we don't have the same 
contamination. We already now make some changes to the nature and the, and the nature is going to make some changes for us. No, is nothing is, is the same. Since this virus started, we have now different changes. If we don't see it, I don't know if you pay attention about all the new programs that yes, we have right now and many people is offering to us. This is the new program. This is the new uh, uh, advertisements. This is the new knowledge that you can need or you need in order just to promote your own messages. And you see many changes even in the cybernetical, technological or scientific level in order to communicate ourselves better. And this is something that today said, Lord, I am telling you to, personally, through this virus, you need to reborn again. You need to take time. But Nicodemus asked the same question I will have asked, but how can this happen? How? The winds flows where it wills, and the action of the Spirit is visible. And you know what happened with Newton? Newton, when he discovered that, said, Oh, I got it! I got it! Everything first, we need the seal. And what happened? We put the seal, and after a few months, then the seal grow up, die, and rise. Oh, I got it! I need a seal. You know, brothers and sisters, and this second message, this COVID virus is like a new seal that the Lord is putting in our hearts, in our minds, in our conscience, and say, if you take this COVID virus as a seal, and then just you die and rise through this virus in Jesus Christ in order to please the Father through the Holy Spirit, you will be, you will be new. God, what happened when the, the, we put in the seal on earth and a few, a few weeks then dies and rise again with a new plant and then grow and grow and grow and grow and grow and grow as a trip and what happened in the trip bring the fruit and what happened after a few months the fruit came and then became ripe and boom if you don't take it naturally it's going to going down to earth again this is this kind of a, a knowledge is in the in the universe and jesus said as well as you have the experience that this even spring rise again a new fruits and you will see the fruits brothers and sisters right now we see the new fruits and different kinds of trees the, the, the even after we have this new season the spring we have a new fruits around the world in order to tell us these streets already die and rise they accept to die and rise and what happened they have a new fruits that's why jesus said to all of us if you are going to die through this holy virus you are going to promote new fruits after this time that's so important to all of us that's why brothers and sisters concepcion cabrera remind us in this beautiful moment and, his, and she said to, to all of us something very pro profound. The divinization that abs absorbs you, Concha, I felt, she said, as if God absorbs, loves, losing oneself within him. In other words, we will study this form of mystical, theological, and anthropology in front of our negative affirma affirmative theology. What is the meaning of it, about this? You know, I already give you an example. When we speak about positive things, we need to say, speak negative things. Example, in Spanish we say, do you, want, do you not want this? When, when we say, do you like this? Do you want this? We spoke negatively in order to speak negat positively. Even Newton discovered this. Is everything is go up and then go down. And what happened in the opposite way is in theology. Jesus came from heaven, tell us, and this gospel tells, according to John, came from heaven and he back up to heaven after the resurrection and after he is going to spend 40 days for us, he had to be back to heaven and rise and he will sit at the right hand of the Father. He said to all of us, and he is there, but also he is with us. Concepcion remind us, this beautiful lady, remind us this beautiful statement. It is 
we need to speak negatively in order to understand positively. And I give you the, already the, the example, this is an example to Newton, as well as the second example is the, the seed. Then the seed not, needs to die in order to go out. You need to go out in order to rise. This, when you put the seed on earth, what happened? You have the seed in your hands, and what happened? You put it on earth, and after a few months, boom, go up. That's the same thing. It's like if we are going to make another analogy, Jesus Christ is the new seed to us. When he came from heaven, he asked permission to Our Lady, and Our Lady said, yes, I am here. I am be able to receive this new seat. Means this new son that he is going to help us to divinize ourselves. And then what happened? God put the seat in her womb. And what happened? After nine months, we have the new the new seat, Jesus. He grew up. After three three years, he finished his mission and then back again to the Father. This is something very profound that we need to understand in this second message. How can this happen? It's through the Holy Spirit. Because through the Holy Spirit, we die and born again. Through the Holy Spirit, our Lady received the new seed like is Jesus. And we take this COVID virus like a new seed and put it in our cells, in our minds, in our head, and even our intellectual concepts, we are going to use it as a new seed, that through this new seed, we are going to born again. And then Concepcion reminds us this beautiful statement. Explain in a few words what, what it is. This mystagogic of God the Father reveals through His Son and protect and give and guide by the Holy Spirit. Divinization of the soul in the experience of Trinitarian mystery in Concepcion said this is the meaning about this according to her after God nothing is so beautiful and as excellent as his glory which is like the expansion of the divine the divinization of creatures of those who lack intelligence because of the basic of God in their being in and in their activity and in their perfection and of intelligence beings because by knowledge, love, adoration and praise they are filled with God, participate in Him and even became God's for participation according to the words of Scripture. I have said it, you are a God's. It is understood that after being God in essence there is nothing better than being God's by participation. Concepcion reminds us at the end of her life, she wrote this in, the, in her diaries, in, 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 in the book 64, 186. She almost finished her diary. And that's why she became so aware about this beautiful experience. In order to understand this passage from, the, from John, we need to be open to say, I need to go deeply. Really, God is going to tell us, and Concepcion said this, as God, nothing is so beautiful and excellent at His glory. That's why Jesus said to Nicodemus, Nicodemus, I came from heaven to share in the glory of my Father. Nothing is more profound than this gift. If you think that Moses gave you this love, my father created this love for Moses and for you. But now I bring you the, the essence and the substance of the message of Moses. It's heaven, the glory of my father, and how you are going to glorify my father to die and rose again or rise again in me through the Holy Spirit. And this is beautiful. And Concepcion added this, which is like the expansion of the divine, the divinization of creatures. Jesus said to, Mo, to Nicodemus, God wants through this new message after the resurrection. And Jesus is paying for 40 days this divinization to his disciples in order just to be aware and to tell the whole humanity 
And that's why Jesus had the encounter in Galilee to, uh, to his disciples. And then they went to Jerusalem. And what happened after they proclaimed the good tidings to Jerusalem? They go out. They go out through different nations. Thanks be to the persecution of Paul. Some Paul tells us he is the new instrument for the for the new born church because if Paul doesn't arise in order to persecute the church, many people they don't love Israel. But what happened after Paul rise with his this special announcement? He said, "This is the time I need to die. I need to die for my." religion and the new religion is Jesus. Let us give thanks to God for all the blessings that yes we receive but especially brothers and sisters let us keep in this beautiful experience. Jesus tells us today I would like to share with you my love. If you be with me you will be happy. And how can you be to renew yourself? That's why Concepcion tells us very important things and, and, and added this of these who lack intelligence because of the best of God in their me in their being and in their activity and in the perfection and of intelligent beings because by knowledge love adoration and praise they are filled with God participated in him and even become gods by participation according to the words of the scripture what is the meaning about that Jesus is telling to Nicodemus, you need to reborn again. You don't reborn again. You cannot go back to the divinity life. You cannot grasp the divine graces. And it is, it depends of all of us, brothers and sisters, how can we become aware? If we don't become more aware, Jesus said to all of us, the Son of Man has come down from heaven we recitate in every Sunday and decreed. And it is the answer to all our years of God. We are too weak to rise up and search God out in His in, in His heaven. Therefore, He has had mercy on us. And that's why something important that we need to, to share in through San Faustina. San Faustina reminds us this beautiful text that we need to be considered and even we need to be aware and in order to understand this beautiful message that, that, that we have right now and let us be uh, be attentive about the message from San Faustina and tells us God God tells us through Nicodemus I am come here to bring you mercy San Faustina said in the diary 367 my heart overflows with great mercy of souls and especially for poor sinners if only they could understand that i am the best of the fathers to them and that is from them the blood and water flow from my heart as from a, a fountain overwhelming with mercy jesus explained to me nicodemus is through the mercy of my father that i came back again after I rise to tell you the truth and the truth is God's love you unconditionally and through that love he called you to die in, 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 in his son in order to rise in his son and participate in this divinization that's why we have in the scriptures Jesus died because he said I am God I am the son of the living God and the scriptures tells us today and Jesus said, said to, to all of us if you don't be like me as a good son and daughter to be obedient to the Holy Spirit in order to please the Father you cannot be king God's of participation you cannot be because you are going to be a demon you are going to destroy you know why to be kind of God's of participation means is to be humble humility to create a new hope for the community to create community respect love services in order to create the diversity and unity this is to become God's of participation to grow to working as San Faustina as well as Concepcion 
these two ladies working together these two ladies working together in different countries and different worlds Concepcion was in America in Mexico and San Faustina was in the, the old world in Poland but it's in similar times but the same message Jesus explained in one country in Europe and in, in America the same essence the same message and this is important even San Faustina wrote this I want to grant a complete pardon to the souls that I will go to confession and receive Holy Communion on the Feast of Mercy. Even Jesus reminds us this beautiful statement, I demand the worship of my mercy through the solemn celebration of the Feast and through the veneration of the, of the image which is painted. By means of this image, I shall grant many graces to souls. It is to be a re re remedy of the demands of, of my mercy, because even the strongest faith is of no avail without works. And I introduce the three messages today. Jesus said, if you became and venerate this image, this beautiful image, you are going to receive many blessings. And let us go to the gospel. That's the third message today. And Jesus said, as just as Moses lit up the serpent in the desert, so must the Son of Man be lit up, so that everyone who believes in him may have eternal life. Conception, after Jesus tells us this beautiful statement, really became so powerful. Jesus gave us a crucifix, and I am going to bring you this, in order just to take conscience and to consider this image, and I am going to leave you this mo in this moment to San Faustina. Just check this image of this lady. How San Faustina tells us this beautiful sign that Jesus is with us. That Jesus tells us through different ways how can we become part of this. You know, Jesus bring us this sign. And before he died, and what happened? After he died, Jesus appeared to, to Concepcion and say, I am here. I am give you this new sign. Jesus said, as well as, as Moses just create this new sign, as Moses, he, he said, up the serpent of the desert, so must be the son of man be lifted up, so that everyone who believes in him may have eternal life. Jesus spoke about the crucifixion and what happened after Jesus appeared to Concepcion he started appear first to Concepcion and then later to San Faustina but Jesus gave us this sign after the resurrection after the assumption and then after he, Jesus gave this 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 uh, this beautiful sign in 1897 1988 Jesus disclosed himself to Concepcion. And this is beautiful how Jesus spoke about as well as through, through this beautiful gospel through Concepcion Cabrera. And then Jesus said today in the gospel, if you even venerate this image, the, my mercy, many people is going to receive many blessings. Brothers and sisters, I am going to repeat again from San Faustina, this beautiful man, give us this beautiful message according to John Ver uh, chapter 3rd versicle 19 and said I demand my worship or my mercy through the solemn celebration of the feast of through the veneration of, of, of my image with its painting painted by means of this image I shall grant my graces to souls it is to be a re remeter of the demands of mercy because even the strongest faith is of no avail without work or works San Faustina wrote and then she appeared this beautiful image brothers and sisters we said and some people came from another uh, denomination we cannot create any image because God said we cannot adore anyone 
And Jesus said, why not? I am God. I have the power. I have the ability. And you misunderstand everything. And that's why Jesus said and I spoke before he died to Nicodemus. I prophesy, how can I am going to appear again? And I told you this in order to renew yourself. All those people, really, all those people who re even said it is that we don't adore any image, let me tell you the truth. Jesus, in this chapter of John, refute you argument. He himself appeared to us and said, the new image that I am going to give you to you, and the moment that you see this image, you are going to believe in me. As well as Moses had up the serpent on the desert, this is new. And you, why Jesus used the serpent? Because Jesus is going to destroy the dead and the, and the cross. Because through the serpent, Adam and Eve ate the fruit and what happened? And they became confused. And why I ask you to think about it, to become a God's of participation. That's why the serpent said, to Adam and Eve. If you eat this, you will be like a God. And Jesus said, you already are. If you be obedient to my Father, do not destroy yourself. And what happened? Jesus hang, and he said, as Moses hang up the serpent, I am going to hang up on the cross. And then I am going to destroy the devil, and I am going to destroy the dead, and I am going to destroy the, even the sin. And Jesus gave us this son. But after 19, 19 years, Jesus appeared to conception and gave us this, uh, this beautiful cross. And I am going to explain to you in the next uh, talks about this cross. And then what happened later? In 1931, Jesus appeared to San Faustina and tell us this beautiful things. Brothers and sisters, the serpent in the desert Reference to Moses lip at the serpent in the desert comes from Numerus 2149. If you want to go and check in the numbers 20 in chapter 21, versicles 49, you would check the same verb, the same message from St. John in chapter 3rd, and then which is read and 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 today with this beautiful brothers and sisters, we need to be aware about this message. But Jesus tells us today, everyone who venerate this image receive new blessing. You know what? When we love someone, I remember when I, I am going to give you the first conclusion. I remember when I, I, I have the first experience to be, um, to have a, a girlfriend. And I asked, the first thing that I asked, uh, well, I know her for, for my town. And we grew up and then we went to the same school. And what happened? I asked the picture because I would like to have a picture from her. And she gave me a picture. And every time that I saw that picture, say, oh my God, I love this lady. I became in love. I was 16 years and a half. And I was so beautiful. And what happened? Even Conception before she died. She gave us beautiful example. She left some videos about her life as well as this beautiful picture. She left us her spirituality in this picture. And also she wrote the, the messages as well as San Faustina wrote. This is an image, brothers and sisters. The gospel is an image. God gave us the gospel and it's an image. How can we see God through the gospel, through the new and, and the Old Testament, through the Bible. It's an image, the Bible. Why do you say that you will not create any image? And God remind us today, even through Our Lady in 1531, as well as in 1850 in, in France, and even in Portugal, Our Lady appeared to Juan Diego in 5031, December 12, appeared physically, and we venerate this beautiful image. We, all, we, we are not adored, we venerate. 
That's why Jesus said, if you venerate me, if you be humble in humility, if you study this image, you are going to receive the knowledge that you are looking for. This is the second conclusion. Brothers and sisters, conception reminds us, in order to understand this beautiful message, we need to be more aware. As a result, they, we need to take conscience because the people complain against God and Moses because of the poor and food lack water in the desert. And Jesus said, why? Why Jesus appeared to San Faustina with this new message? You know, through this image, we have also water, water and blood through the lands, as well as in this image. We have blood and water. And this is something important. The people complain against God and Moses because of the poor food and the lack of water. And this is very interesting. And that's why Jesus appeared to San Faustina with water and, and blood, as well as conception. This is beautiful. This second conclusion reminds us, brothers and sisters, as a result, they were plagued by fairy serpents who killed many of them. But God ordered Moses to grab a serpent and raise it up as a standard and anyone who lacked at it were healed. God always provide a way of repentance and salvation for his people. The Son of Man was also lifted up on the cross so that everyone who believed in Jesus crucified and raised has eternal life. This is why he came down from heaven this is the how our salvation. You take care about yourself in these days. And this is the third conclusion. And became aware, do not be, be, do not be afraid about your problems. And I am going to conclude it with this beautiful testimony from their book, chapter, uh, second, Numbers 11 and 12, when the same Bulgeniotus Orespo, Orespi Bishop wrote about the sacrament of unity and love. The spiritual building up of the body of Christ is achieved through the love. In St. Paul says, like living stones you are built into a spiritual house to be a holy priesthood, open spiritual sacrifices acceptable to God through Jesus Christ. And there are, can be no more effective way to pray for this spiritual growth than for the church itself, Christ's body, to make the offering of his body and blood in the sacramental form of bread and wine. For the cup we drink is a participation in the blood of Christ, and the bread we bre bre break is a participation in the body of Christ, because there is no love we who are many are one body since we are shared in the same bread. Jesus tells us today, I already give you the bread. If you want to eat, this is your decision. But I already offer to you through Nicodemus to reborn again. But I give you already this image, but also this image, but also this beautiful image to venerate as San Faustina has here. Depends on what kind of image that you that you that you can become more common, more humble, more humility, and even more united to God. You have different spiritualities that you can choose in order to continue to grow in your spiritual life. May God bless you and bring you peace to you and be happy all the days. God bless you all and I am praying continually for you. Receive my prayers, and may the Father and the Son and the Holy